All right, that's Bruh. six straight losses for the Lakers. Bruh. Two games back of the Spurs, really three games back, because the Spurs had the tiebreaker. Spurs have won six to seven, by the way. Three games back with four to play, and those four are at Suns, at Warriors, versus OKC, and at Denver. So Lakers may end the season on a 10-game losing streak. Uh, we call, we call, I know I called, we called. I forgot what, what rock bottom this was. I forgot when it was. But we were like, they're not going to make the play in. And then I waffled. I don't think you waffled on it. Because I always yeah. held out hopes. And they had high hopes, you know. High hopes. Um, that maybe they find a way to get in there and make it interesting. But uh, for all intents and purposes, even though they're not mathematically eliminated, they're done. They're done. Despite hey, the best efforts of uh, Anthony Davis yesterday. I'm glad. Yes. I'm glad you uh, I'm glad you have a Kings of comedy reference in there. You just put that in because I, I'm not sure that how did how did Anthony Davis get through that whole thing with the straight face? Like is that was that supposed to be was he was he trying to be funny? Was that unintentionally funny? That is hilarious. If if we had stayed healthy <laughs> from him <laughs> coming from Anthony Davis, like if we had stayed healthy, come on, bro. You ain't never gonna stay healthy. It's like it's like Bobby Brown saying, "Hey, what would have happened if New Edition had stayed together?" Hey, man, that, that you the problem. We all ain't stay together because of you. It was you. Why are you the one bringing this up? I gotta tell you behind the scenes, though. I gotta tell you a real story. Um, so over the weekend, I get a text from Mark Spears. Mark Spears, oh, like, yeah. "Hey, man, yeah. what's your address?" I said, oh, you conceding already? No, no. I, I, I might want to send you a Christmas card. Like, no, no. You're conceding. You will have a bet with Mark, Mark Spears. Lakers don't get out of the first round of the playoffs. That's a funny bet, too. I didn't know Mark Spears was funny, too. They're not going to make the playoffs. They're not going to make the play in. So Anthony Davis to say what could have been. That's not even the point. I know what could have been if they stayed healthy. Do you? We're having yes. They're not good. They're not a they're not a good team. Okay, if you make the Lakers healthy, I'll give them how many wins they have right now. What thirty? Was it thirty one? Thirty one. Yeah. I'll give them. I'll give them ten more. I'll give them ten more wins. Okay, I may even give them twelve more. I'll say they are forty three and thirty nine team. But just watching them, and I know everything changes when you have Anthony Davis out, or if you have LeBron James out, things change dramatically. But every, everybody they have around those guys, it is not a, it just doesn't mesh. Yeah. It's not a real team. They and, that, are and that's what I struggle with. Their collection of names, their collection well, of I, that, which is why they look so good on paper, because <laughs> because yeah. because it's like a, a guest list, a who's who. Yeah, that's that's what if that's what you want your roster to be. I, I struggle with it though, Michael, because okay, did you know that this year in 576 minutes with Anthony Davis and LeBron James on the floor yeah. that the Lakers have been outscored by 30 points this year with those two guys sharing the floor and then when this AD LeBron and Westbrook, they've only outscored their opponents by four points. So I think and this is crazy. You know who I picked in the preseason? I'm pretty sure this is who I picked in the preseason. They were betting favorites in each conference. Nets and Lakers. One Nets of them's Lakers. in 11th, one of them's in 10th, okay? <laughs> the right now. But I think, and listen, whatever helps you sleep at night, Anthony Davis or Lakers Nation in general, I think I look at it and I'm just like, yeah, I, I, I won't feel bad about how bad that pick looks now because, yeah, I think there is a big what if with this team. And they can look back on this season and say, what if? Because maybe they not maybe they wouldn't have dominated the way that their resume suggested in the preseason, but they certainly wouldn't be anywhere near this bad. Because I would like to think that had they played more together, they'd have figured it out. Yeah, I know if if was a fifth and if my aunt had all that, I got it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But no, you know, if they'd have played more together, would they have had the twenty second ranked defense in terms of defensive rating? Right, maybe not. Franchise maybe history? not. I tend to but, doubt it. They were they were a poorly constructed team. Yes, I agree with you on that. And and the Westbrook thing, if you know, he probably would have never embraced being a, a a third fiddle, you know, or a third wheel or whatever you want to call it. 
but would they have been this bad had they been healthy? No, and maybe that just gives them some semblance of of peace. Maybe that allows us to take some solace into the offseason. Maybe they can go into vacation feeling better about themselves while I feel better I about it. how bad that pick looks, but they wouldn't have been this bad. It, so I, his larger point remains that they would not have been this bad. The other thing I want to tell you is I think you consistently are unfair toward Anthony Davis. Has he had a why? has he had an injury history? Yes. Okay, but Michael and this is what he snapped back at, and I 100% agree with him this year. The two major injuries he's, he's had. The way you talk about Anthony Davis is like he's soft and injury prone when one he came down on somebody else's foot, which happens. I, don't, I can't call all him, the time. I'm not gonna call him soft. I'm not gonna call and him two, soft. To say somebody yeah. fell yeah. into his legs like like as if that's his fault as if he's somehow brittle. If you don't want to say soft like he had freak unlucky injuries and I'm not sure if anybody would have missed less times, show me how somebody would have or should have missed less time than he did with the injuries that he had. It feels like we've gotten out of control with the Anthony Davis slander that he just don't right. want to play. Ain't no slander. That's Ain't what slander. it feels like. Ain't slander. Now, hey, listen, that's I'm not gonna call him like. soft because because that's an opinion. To call him soft, that's an opinion, and that, that's what it sounds like you're saying. S O F capital T. All right, so that's what it sounds like you're saying. I can't. That's unfair to Anthony Davis. But saying he's injury prone in other news, Sacramento is the capital of California. I mean, of course he is injury prone. I thought How you were going to say, say other he's news, not Sacra Sacramento missed the playoffs for the 16th straight season. <laughs> <laughs> Longest in NBA yeah. history. How can you While say Tyrese Halliburton goes crazy? Go ahead. I'm sorry. You, yeah, go ahead. How can you say? How can you say Anthony Davis is not injury prone? I ain't say whose fault it is. I'm just going with the fact I'm going with the Associated Press lead. Uh, you know, Nikola Jokic had 38 points, 17 rebounds and blah, 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 blah. As the Denver Nuggets uh, had an impressive road win over Los Angeles, Anthony Davis. Well, you know, just a straight ahead news lead AP. By the way, AD gets hurt a lot. He's never had a full season and it's just maybe he's unlucky. He's unlucky. Well, that, and, and, and I, I feel better there. I feel better there. I feel better he's with unlucky. that. That thank you. That I feel better. Yes. Yes. Thank. I I, I feel much but, better uh, because that because the other one suggests that he just likes wearing street clothes. That he likes but, be, but like, he, he likes being but, known as Anthony Data Davis. You know what I mean? <laughs> so that he that I he enjoys that that, that, really... that that's just who he is. He's not tough. That he doesn't want to be out there. I think he just had some bad luck with he's, injuries. Here's but what yeah, he is. I mean, his track record is not. Himself. He's not reliable. He's not reliable. Not his fault. Can't argue. But yeah. you can't count on him. But you but can't count LeBron on him. LeBron missing and 22, AD missing 39. It just is. I'm sorry. Regardless of how poorly constructed the roster was, or lack of shooting, or age, or whatever, that they they at least in the playoffs safely. Well, at least well. But not safely. Uh, maybe no, not no. safely. Maybe not. Maybe not no, safely. No, not I safely. take that back. I take that back. They're yeah. safely in the play-in. I'm not. I'm not saying they're up right there advocating in the play-in. Tweak to the play-in system if, if not for them, if, if not for those injuries. And that makes I me think, feel better I about how bad that pick looks. Hey, thanks for watching, brother from another on YouTube. Make sure you hit subscribe before you leave, and be sure to watch us three to five p.m. Eastern time on Peacock. Appreciate you.